Hey guys, this is Jeremy Toe with Music Marketing TV, and today we're going to be taking a look at Yuki's Repro 1 and how we can use it to create a really nice, thick sounding bass synthesizer. So, what we have here is a bass synth that I wasn't really happy with the track that I was sent to mix a while back. And what I decided to do is I wanted to actually edit it and modify it and create my own. So, I'm going to play with you what I actually ended up with, and here we go. Now, if we actually sold this out, you can hear that has a little bit of chorusing going on, a little bit of delay. And let me show you how I got that. All I did is I went to the presets section, I clicked on the bases, and I went to this SA Beefy bass. Now if we play this, we'll notice that this sounds completely different now. But what this is, is this is now the skeleton of what I actually want. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the drench function. I'm going to turn on the delay. I'm going to set this to chorus short. And I'm going to leave it how it is. So if we play this now, it gives us that nice little thick sound. Next thing, and I'm going to go into the mixer section, I'm going to bring down the noise and bring down the oscillator B, and we're going to bring the frequency all the way down in oscillator A. Let's listen to how it sounds. We're going to bring the pulse wave, and we're going to just ever so slightly tuck it down. If we bring it up and down too much, it has way too aggressive effect. Next, we're going to go into the oscillator B section. Do the same thing. Now that we have that set up and it sounds very nice and similar, we're going to bring up the noise just a little bit. Let's see what we have. That sounds really good. Let's go back to the preset. Way different. We're keeping the original form, but we're changing it up to suit our needs. Next, let's go to the filter section and let's see what we can get here. We're going to go to the filter envelopes. And now let's mess with the amp envelope. Cool. So let's go to the original preset one more time. See what we start out with. Let's go back. Let's mess around with this just a tiny bit more. I want to see if I can fine tune this even farther. Cool. Let's see what we have now. And there we go. Let's take this out of solo and let's see how it sounds. So that is it for today's video. This has been Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.